Hello, it's me. It's Florida Man CGB. I am still here and on my historic brawl vacation, which I'm enjoying very much. Still broadcasting to you from the bathroom. Authentic toilet gaming surrounded by pillows for your audio pleasure. Today's video features Narset, Enlightened Exile, a historic brawl. I was doing a YouTube live stream the other day, which I'm doing more of, come by during the day, usually uh, during about, you know, noon to 3 or 4 p.m. EST. If you want to check out my live streams, I've been trying to do more of them. And there was a super chat, which is the same as like a donation for $25 to commission this. Uh, it was a request to do a Narset Enlightened Exile deck update. I did a video with this before, but I definitely didn't like the way it come out. So I was happy to do the update. I don't often take deck submissions, requests or commissions. I was just feeling in a weird mood that day. So I opened it up with like 25 bucks. You can pick the commander and somebody took me up on it with a super. So that's another thing that could happen if you're watching the live streams. Now set enlightened exile is a sweet commander because you give all of your creatures prowess and in some cases double prowess because of cards like it monastery mentor where prowess stacks. And we can use Narset's ability to cast spells out of the graveyard from either graveyard. So you can steal the opponent's spells and use them against them. Or you can cast sweet spells from your graveyard to get all those prowess triggers. Narset can be an aggressive commander or it can be a combo commander. This version of the deck leans into using the graveyard. So it has cards like Jace Perfected Mind. It has artifacts like Mesmeric Orb and Palantir uh, to help fill your graveyard with good stuff. Brass's Tunnel Grinder. And then once our graveyard is full of good stuff, we get all kinds of fun with Narset's trigger. Underworld Breach is one of the most powerful cards in the deck. And then the rest of the way is about all about getting like one more turn uh, or giving Narset haste. We've got maximized velocity, reckless charge, ways like that to give haste. But in terms of cards like Teferi's Protection and Time Warp, yeah, sometimes we cast those with Narset. Then we sometimes get so many cards cast in one turn using mana outlets or creators like Bergy and Stormkiln Artist that we get to cast tons of spells. So Galvanic Relay, Grape Shot, or Storm cards where the number of Storm could be very, very high if we get to do the right things with Narset. One of my favorite sneaky cards in the deck that's awesome is See the Truth. See the Truth is just two mana for like a sorcery speed anticipate style effect. Look at your top three, choose one. But See the Truth is a two mana draw three if you cast it from somewhere other than your hand, which includes exiling it and casting it from exile with a card like Narset. So getting See the Truth as a two mana draw three is not too hard in this deck, and it's very rewarding. It's a sneaky good card in the deck. That introduces the list. Now remember to like this video, because if we ever get to 3,000 likes on a video, I will do the hot tub stream before I leave. And there's only about three more days to get it. So hit like, please. Or go like the Judith video. It, it's called Diva Tribute is what's on the thumbnail. If you like the that video, that one has 2,800 and 50 likes, I think. It only needs 150 to go to unlock Hop Tub Stream. And like I said, you've got about three days to do it. Also, if you'd like to become a Cool Kids Club member, you can get early access to videos like this and watch them a day early. Hit the join button below. It's only $4.99 a month. I am trying very hard this year to provide good value on that and make it worth it to you. Finally, thank you to CoolStuffInc.com. And thank you to Ultimate Guard, the sponsors of this channel. Please support them with your MTG related business. Now let's dive in. Let the enlightened exile nonsense begin. Atroxa! Atroxa, Atroxa. Go first with tap lands. Uh, the cavern might be good against Atroxa. Yeah, I mean, on the play, on the draw, this might be too slow, but on the play, I think this is fine. We have a turn three Fable. Fable can do a lot. Hello. Elvish Mystic. Okay. Ah, they're not going to have any zeros, right? 
Get out! Less elf. That's a recipe for happiness. Heart on blue. Uh, it's Fabulum. Have you heard the story about this little uh, goblin shaman dude who just goes out getting treasures? <laughs> they had to ban it, it's so good. All right, speaking of good, here comes Atroxa. Nothing to proliferate, just playing a 4-4 lifelinker. Ooh. Ooh. That's a draw. I don't actually know if... Will I have time for this Narset? I don't think I will. So, drop you. Draw you. Maybe we're supposed to get the island here? We're going to... Rift this. To your hand. Let's re do Lorien Revealed and get an island. Now, we're not going to be able to wash away the Atroxa. Because we don't have enough mana, because it's coming from hand now. But we can Snapcaster Rift it again. If we need to buy more time. Dark Ritual. Well, nothing good ever started with a Dark Ritual. Heh, <laughs> okay. Surely you had a plan! Ah, Kaya. What's Kaya gonna do? Kill the Fable? Good. I got a sub- we're, we're gonna play Ambush Viper Snapcaster Mage Mode. No flashback. Just killing Akaya. <laughs> That's it. I quit. I think we play Narsa here. I think we do. The opponent spends their turn recasting Atroxa. That's fine. If they spend their turn killing Narset. We'll just have to adjust from there. Nope, well, there it is. Praetor's Voice. Good news about Praetor's Voice is if we can prowess up our Narset, we can steal their Kaya. And if we can't, we Rift them. We Rift them or Fragment, but I think it's Rift. We could also Narset into Narset. Then they'd probably attack the Narset, but it's unclear what else their Atroxa would do. Whenever you cast and copy an instant or sorcery spell. Yeah, this is a fragment reality, I believe. They didn't put anything down there, did they? Oh, Fatal Push, actually, and Dark Ritual. Healing a Dark Ritual is kind of hype. But nope, it's going to be the fragment reality this time. Get that thing into exile. See what they get for it. Maybe an elf. An elf. And then when if they cast it again, wash it away. Please don't kill my board. It would be sad. Who plays Planeswalkers and Sweepers in the same deck? Nobody, right? Unheard of. Jace! Jace. Jace, what you doing, Jace? Hey! I was using that card. Alright. <laughs> and? Let's see if we can kill that, Jace. Or can. Swords kills Atroxa for cheap. Keep it. Did that just happen? If we play the mentor, we can hold up the wash away. 
which is good against all their planeswalkers. And if they play Atroxa, we'll just swords it. Because they're not proliferating much. Triggers. What? Okay. But can you do it next turn too? That's the question. You want to trade? You do? Nice. How bad could things go if there are Atroxes in the command zone? Oh. Oh, here comes the scoop. I can feel it. Ow! The emotional damage of having your commander washed away at a moment like that. Draw. Our opponent's running the Enlightened Master. So, Narset versus Narset. Who will prevail? One way to find out. This hand is a lot of card draw. Like, a lot. Which can help us get to things that can deal with Narset and Lighten Master. The opponent on the play, you can guess they're going to try to ramp into Narset, and we have to be able to kill it. The deck is usually not that high on interaction, but still plenty. You know, some board wipes, some counter spells. Yeah, I expect it. Play a tap land first. Okay, no blue mana yet. Nice to see. Let's see the truth. No land there. We could take the bobble to try to give ourselves every chance to get to a land, because in our worst case scenario, the expressive iteration doesn't hit either. But man. I think Parter of Veils is the right card against them. I think it really is. If they don't have a counter spell, then they're still probably going to need to remove it. Plus, you know, it's Narset versus Narset versus Narset. Who doesn't want that content? Here comes the ramp. It's really good, just in general, if your commander is a super threatening four mana card that they're going to definitely have to remove to try to have a three mana card that they also want to counter or remove. Because they might think they have another turn to deal with your commander, and then you play something ahead of that turn and they're like, oops. All right, there was no land there. But we got the wash away, which is face up, deal with the Narset. Their Narset, Enlightened Master be specific. They have an inherited envelope. They have a cold steel heart. They're definitely in the ramp out Narset camp. Firmly in the ramp out Narset camp. So that means we do have to hold up Washaway here. We could play Teferi and bounce one of their rocks, but that's risky. Very risky. Woohoo! Hacked! Okay, but we need the mana. We don't have a land. Man, I have so many four mana cards I want to play here. They missed a land drop. If they top a land and drop their Narset, we are in big trouble. So there's no way I'm supposed to not... Right? right? Like, there's no way I play my four mana card here, is there? I, oh my god, do I just say go? We need a land. And I guess I can brainstorm for it. I guess we'll brainstorm now then. We have to do it anyway. <laughs> Found him. Found the land. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we had it the whole time. That's nice. But we definitely want to hit all these, so. All right. Just say go. Discard to hand size. The relay is usually just fine to cast out of the graveyard because you want to cast off Narset anyway. So a good reason to leave up three here is to use the wash away so that since it's face up anyway, now the opponent thinks the, co the coast might be clear for Narset. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. They bring a counter spell to this to this uh, little battle here. If they have one, they're in a good spot. But they might be thinking I don't need it. Yeah. Okay. They're doing it. The gate. Well, there goes our pact. Unless we can draw a haste enabler for Narsa, and we know what we're drawing. That's more like it. At least they can't draw a card from this. So now, now what? They missed a land drop. They missed a land. So let's see if we can keep them from drawing untapped land and slamming Narset. Actually, we want the ring to tempt them again. So that when they attack, they have to discard a card because they don't get to draw one because of our Narset. That's kind of funny. I guess I'll draw another card. Why not? Get as close as we can to drawing a way to deal with Narset. We've got three things in the deck. Cinderclasm, Brotherhood's End, Volcanic Fallout. Don't worry, I got this. Gilded Lotus. Cool. Envelope. Emptation. I guess they don't have a ring bearer, so my grand plan might not work out, but you know. No haste enabler. Let's see what we can find. Akavan. Seven? It's too much. Okay. And. Bottom. Exile. Do we play Narset? What does Narset get us? Three cards from See the Truth. That's pretty good. They have so much mana next turn, though. So much mana. Well, if we're not going to draw a haste enabler, I guess we need it. Well, it might bounce it with Teferi, but they don't draw from that. They somehow have nine mana off three lands. <laughs> Look at the rocks! Look at the rocks! Pack doesn't work because of their Teferi. Okay, here she comes! And yeah, that's the play I'd make. Alright, big draw steps coming up. Consider. Let's see what we can find. We've had a lot of ways to dig into the deck here. But we haven't found what's important. Can't kill this frickin' Narset. I guess there's one more card that could hit the cards we need, and it's the Seasoned Pyromancer. Jace. Not good enough. Okay. One more shot. One opportunity. I think giving up the Teferi is rough. But here we are. Now what? Here we are. Volcanic Fallout, if we draw it, can't be countered, so it would be something. Here we go. Uh! Wow. It's there. It was right there. But but are we screwed now? Did we open up the counter spell for them? We gotta do it now because of Teferi. Oh my god, this is a tense one. You dig deep enough, even in a hundred card deck, you can find what you're looking for. Okay. Copy it. Um, I let this resolve, right? I could pack it. Opponent, are you okay? That did not seem like the play you want to make there. Giving me back the Cinderclasm? <laughs> I mean, I get it. 
It's Narset's reversal. It's thematic. It's also a sweet way to like copy your extra turn spell when you're casting it for free because you hit it with the Narset. But that is not its use case. Davriel. I this this deck is annoying, but at least Davriel's minus doesn't kill our commander. It does make her ability a lot worse. And Fable is so good on the play and so medium on the draw. I think I should try for a better hand. Ragavan. We'll see if they came prepared for that. At least they won't be able to do their like. Never mind. Fine. Never you mind! Why would we think we get to play one of our cards against a black deck? Silly me. Silly CGB. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to stop Davriel, especially if they have ramp here. They just had a perfect hand. Okay. The rest. One ring is pretty easy pick. Um let's go for the boots. They want to play their commander next turn. Which means Boots on Sentinel will get us a card draw, unless they kill it. They'll probably kill it, right? And eh, make them have it. Hey! There is stick. Do you feel it? I feel it. Go for the throat? No, that wouldn't have any stick. I, I feel like they've got... What flash creature could Mono Black have? That your go? That's a taunt. They want me to attack. I can feel it. I just know they've got it. They've got something. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> or, or they just have that. Great. That's great. Love that for me. This is this has been a great great game so far. I don't know, man. Why wouldn't you play your commander there? I guess they're worried about wash away. Three popular discard spells, not even the fringe ones, the popular ones. And a great removal spell that gets around swift foot boots. Pretty good. Good it's a good time. An Arset I can't cast is what they took. LOL. Hey! Nice! I guess they could have, like, Tear Grid. So let's use the Foothills now. Get him! Well, if they tap out, we go Narset with boots. They don't seem to care. My services are not. Interesting. What's it gonna be? If I remember correctly, it's hard to see. That spells cost less to cast. What was the condition? Anybody see the condition? It went so fast I didn't see it. Oh, they buffed my creatures. They buffed my creatures. Ow. All right, one mana. Does it kill the commander? I think a little turnabout is fair play, don't you guys? They're like looking in my graveyard, but what if I'm looking in your graveyard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, they they can't take it. They can dish it out, but they can't take it. One little discard spell, and they're out. They scoop. They run off to mother. Well, <laughs> that is, is that not just the quintessential Davriel player? Lagrella, the magpie. I think that's one I still have to do. I can't remember if I ever did a Lagrella or not, but considering that Yorian is probably a card in the deck, 
How have I not done it? So, it's a keep because of Bitter Reunion into Fable. On the play, that should be a lot for the opponent to deal with. But we do have to draw land. So, go and thank you, Bergybergs. Very, very cool. Ornithopter of Paradise. Have you heard the fable of the Mirror Breaker? Opponent will probably get rid of that with the Lagrella, but better than them getting our Mentor or our Bergy. Kind of rude. I was gonna have fun, but okay then. Curse. Curse. Interesting. I imagine they trade. But being able to blink that thing. Yeah, they want to blink it. I see you. We don't want to curse them yet. We want to get them with the wash away, then curse them. So I think I play Narset. I also can use Curse as a prowess trigger to then use Narset to get the Fable back. Or the Relay, if I am particularly popping off. Mm-hmm. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Oh no! Wash away claiming another one? Oh, they're in trouble. They're in so much trouble. They're in so, 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 so much trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a card I can play. The pop-off is real. It's very real. So we're gonna have the next turn. This is gonna exile two cards. Let's let's do another fable. And reminder, the shaman has prowess too, so they can't even kill it. Oh, they have wash away. Okay, that works. Works for now. Down to 12. Save this for next turn. Hazard. Okay, we want to get this up to 6 power. Can we get this to 6 power? If we play the horn... And the curse. That one's pretty tough. They aren't uh, giving up. Lagrella. Lagrella. Lag Should just put in magpie. <laughs> so when the trigger goes off, I have to target, right? So I can't use the hazard from the treasure before I pick the target for the Narset, so I can't do the time warp. That's tilting. That is a little tilting. So I guess we'll do this. Uh, where is the stop? There we go. How do I... Wait, where's my combat stop? I, I need to... Okay, full control. Full control. Control. Full control. Okay. So we need to put this on the stack and respond to the storm trigger with this to get an extra activation. 
I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm very good at magic. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> All right. So then it'll exile like three or four more cards that we'll get to use on our next turn after decimating their position, and maybe they can cast Lagrella again. But I bet we can power through. That was strong. Rhyme the Conqueror. Are we fast enough to beat Itali? Erwin Ragavan. I mean, if they're anything like a previous Itali player, they're soft. So let's see if they just scoop. I can't emote because I had to relaunch the client. Hey, they haven't scooped yet. Feeling bitter? What do we discard? I think I like the command, the treasure cruise, and the solve. I think it's actually the Teferi. Hey! Orion revealed and reprieve. Opponent has Paradise Druid, which I can't target, unfortunately. We don't have a land, but I guess we have Lorien revealed. I mean, we're attacking. And they're taking it. Steam vents. A2. Oh man, we could slam the Narset right here. But we have Bitter Reunion, we could also slam it on our turn. We can reprieve what they play, then on our turn, Hasty Narset. Hasty Narset casts... Not much. Actually, we didn't fill our graveyard. That's not that good. Okay, if we Tunnel Grind into an untapped land, that fixes all these issues. We just don't get to do the reprieve. Which is, I think... Well, I think that's fine. Cool. Could have sacked the Bitter Reunion to give it haste, which I had to do anyway, and then recast the Bitter Reunion. That's okay. Still, I've got very high standards for my Narsets. I want them to be busted. <laughs> and getting a card like Solve or a Prismari Command that kills the Paradise Druid and the Key, they're gonna scoop to that. They're definitely going to scoop to that. I predict they won't survive. I, I don't know. They survived a turn one Ragavan. Maybe they're not the scooping type. Normally, I would assume they're going to scoop to the Prismari command, but let's see. East up. Swing? Ah, oh, I don't have the prowess for it. That's true. I can't Prismari Command here. I always think it's equal. I don't know why. I haven't figured out what my problem is. I just always see it as uh, equal to the power, but it's not. It's lesser. You need, you need four power if you're going to get a Prismari Command. I'm just too dense for this stuff. All right. It's going to be a big turn for the opponent. Let's see what their Itali can do. One card that's really fun against Itali is our Alchemist Retrieval. If they cast a permanent from our side, we can just bounce it to our hand. Ooh. They kill Narset? Nope. Not having that. And they're not casting a tally, so that's fine. We can give her haste again. We're crazy like that. Scrap Gorger. Okay. Like field hazard off the top. Do we hasty Narset part two? There's a Doom Blade over there. Uh, I mean, it works for me. Bang! 
hoisted by your own petard. Whatever that is. Yeah, they didn't want to play a tally. They were too worried about Narset on the field. They could just lose to it. <laughs> oh, look at that. A tooth and nail. We shall see. Can a tally save them? Capped Balagid. Titan. Titan, huh? What are they going to pick? Probably five life. They're down to six. <laughs> no, they don't need life. They need to blow up Brass's tunnel grinder, of course. Of course that's what they need to do. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, let's show them the power of prowess, shall we? Interesting. Uh, let's see. I want the untapped land. And I'll put that in my hand because See the Truth goes into exile. Because if you cast See the Truth from exile, this happens. Q. Q. Sure, why not? All right, six. We get something for six. Is that a command? Is it a solve? What does solve get us? Pact? Pact is good. Maybe we just get Lightning Bolt. Eh, probably Pact. I mean, Pact is GG, right? I think it is. I think that will do it. Only add one more mana for the Grape Shot. I guess if Ragavan, if I knew Ragavan would hit them. How about a way to remove one of their creatures? All of my removal is too small. If I Swords their creature, they gain life. I only have one mana. I guess Fragment Reality will do it, right? Okay. Good. That'll do. Unless it has an E- Unless whatever we hit has an ETB. It does have an ETB! <laughs> Not a useful one! Congrats on your plant dinosaur. Good game. I can't, I can't emote because uh, the uh, game glitched when it was launching. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Itali. They were terrified of Narset, and they should be. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Shelby Tesh. Shelby, you're cool. And what do we have to say about Narset Enlightened Exile in Historic Brawl after playing the games? Uh, I feel a little bad. Uh, let me hold on. Switch, 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 switch. There we go. I feel a little bad about the games that made the video because what we mostly showed you is some of the explosive aggro potential of Narset. We were able to beat our opponents down and they didn't really expect it. And that was good. I'm not mad about that. I think that what we showed you less of is the combo potential of the deck. It's one of the better types of decks that can exist in a format when it can be aggressive and have a game ending combo. And Narset Enlightened Exile is very good at that. This, this commander can uh, really just pop off once you get something like Underworld Breach going. So yeah, uh, check out the live stream. There was a public version of the live stream uh, from two days ago. If you watch that one, you'll see Narset combo off really hard using Underworld Breach and Alchemist Retrieval to get the Underworld Breach back. You can keep returning the Retrieval to your hand or the uh, Breach to your hand and just Breach every turn, which is insanely strong. When you combine that with a Mesmeric Orb and you have a Bottomless Graveyard, it, it, it's almost too many options. It really is. And of course, Whirlwind of Thought 
is also a great way to go absolutely nuts. So uh, we also didn't see like a full-blown storm turn of Bergy and Storm Kiln Artist. We ended up beating our opponents to death with Narset instead. But lightning rods like this are crucial to the deck because if the opponent doesn't kill them, you pop off. And the, if the opponent doesn't kill them, then they don't have a removal spell for Narset a good amount of the time. So uh, the deck is flexible. It's strong. I think you would like it. So do play Narset in Lightning Exile if this looked like a lot of fun in Historic Brawl. And do check out the live stream. Uh, that might give you more hints to how this deck plays. We also built it on stream. So there's two streams, uh, the day today and the day before. I have no idea what the date is. Don't ask me. But uh, there is that footage if you go to the live section of the channel. And uh, hit join. Because if you wanted to see me actually record the games and see what did and didn't make the cut see hear me talk to chat a little bit about what goes on with me behind the scenes and recording even some of the things that were affecting me personally that day uh, hitting join uh getting a cool kids club membership you can watch those streams so hit join all right remember 3,000 likes hot tub stream smash the like button before you go subscribe thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next video you're cool One more look for the gaming sound pillow proofing audio quality. Florida, Florida CGB is a vibe, man. It's a vibe. Now enjoy these, uh, just like this pillow. Enjoy these soft. Chandra hopes beacon piloted by Gunther. Interesting hand. How much do you trust consider? I don't. I mean, the fallout's probably not good. The torch probably isn't good. And the fragment reality is probably not good. But the mana's good. And Pact of Negation is good. The six mana commander. Let's see what happens. Bobble? Interesting. Think they run a bobble? Like the other bobble, the zero mana bobble? Not everybody does. And I definitely don't want them to ramp. Yeah, <laughs> zero. You have zero. Zero zeros. Oh no, it has to be a creature anyway. It would have to be like an ornithopter. Never mind. I always forget that part of fragment reality. The crag. That's a pretty good draw for them. What we need is a land. Thank you. we blow it up? I think we do. Oh, Gunther! Gunther! Come on, Gunther. You're not that soft, are you? Gaming Overlord playing Itali. Perfect. Let's go. We have a counter for the Itali, so we keep. We also have a haste enabler for the Narset. See the truth and consider. We'll sculpt our hand into a work of absolute brilliant art. Mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Oh, I'm so sad for Itali.